What up guys, you're here because you want to learn how to tricep push down. We're going to teach you how to do that effectively and efficiently to help you build muscle. It's a fairly simple exercise, but we're going to show you some tips and tricks to make it that much better to get you more results in the gym. So common mistake number one, this is very controversial, a lot of people do this incorrectly. They have poor range of motion for the tricep push down. Far too many people stop right at 90 degrees and this is gonna take the stress and put it right to your elbows and a lot of people experience elbow pain due to this. On another note, a lot of people raise it way too high, their elbows go all the way to the top, taking the tension off the tricep. What you ideally wanna do is just go right above 90 degrees a couple inches, go all the way down and get a nice contraction for this exercise. Number two guys is nice and simple. I'm gonna demonstrate this on a video on the screen. Here you can see I'm completely skipping the contraction of the rep. People will do this, they'll do this so heavy and they won't actually squeeze their triceps. They're just pushing it down, they're going down, they stop about half an inch shy and that's where you're really gonna get some work on that tricep. When you do this guys, it's all about mind-muscle connection. You wanna just go super heavy and blast through that mo movement. This is usually a hypertrophy exercise. It's not a bench press, something where we're trying to fly it up as strong as we can. The goal here is to squeeze that tricep to help break it down and build muscle. So make sure you don't skip that. Here you can see I'm doing some quality reps. I'm getting a fantastic contraction and this is where I'm gonna get the most results in the bang for buck for this exercise. And common mistake number three guys, this is where a lot of guys let their egos take over. People lean too forward, they have their elbows flared and they're just absolutely repping this out and they have no isolation and contraction on the triceps. They translate a lot of the movement over to the shoulders and the chest and uh, this isn't how you guys wanna do it. So avoid making this mistake and leave your egos at home. Before we show you guys three variations for muscle gain, you guys can click first link in the description below, a free form guide, it's over 20 pages with every exercise to help you guys out. All right guys, the first variation for muscle gain for the tricep push down is simply using a rope attachment. This isn't a genius thing or anything crazy by that, I'm sure a lot of you have done it. However, when doing this, if you do it properly, you lessen that weight, you go all the way down and spread those ropes, you're gonna make this a multi-movement exercise in a sense. Because as opposed to just pushing down, now you have to extend outward and bring in that outer tricep head here to kind of do some extra work, get some extra squeeze, and that can really help develop those triceps nicely. I recommend doing normal tricep pushdowns alongside rope pushdowns in your workouts. It'll help burn out those triceps. So number two guys, this is gonna be going on top of Josh's rope push down he just showed you. This is a nice little burnout. So usually what I'll do is I'll do proper reps down, get a full squeeze, nice contraction of the tricep. At the end when I can't go any further, what I'll do is I'll keep my hands together and then just keep pushing just to really be targeting that tricep, get the most out of this exercise and a massive burnout to get a huge pump. Another great muscle building one is single arm. The beautiful thing here is you can do it with supinated or pronated, whatever you prefer, and it will kind of hit it in different ways. I like doing it supinated a lot of people find this awkward but I find it kind of fun so I'll go one arm I'll strengthen myself and I'll push down and get a really good contraction and I'll kind of go inward if I'm feeling it or sometimes I'll go straight you can play around with this and hit it in new and unique ways this will really help if you have imbalances if one arm's stronger than the other especially on your bench doing isolateral movements will really help develop those arms individually and kind of equalize that strength on the left and the right sides and that will transition all the way to your compounds thank you guys all so much for joining us today please make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't already we have a playlist down in the description below make sure to watch all those videos to make sure you're doing every exercise properly and we'll See you guys next time. Peace out.